Hey, what's going on? Builders Crow Sama here. So this is going to be another event and another banner. Um, honestly, me and a lot of my boys over in Discord are just not enjoying the week after week events and banners. I, I think it is a little bit too much. Uh, that's definitely something I wish they would uh, probably fix is give us maybe like at least one day in between uh, of each event just that way we can take a little breather maybe you have like that one day uh, collect a little extra Haro chips than you know an average day something like that would be really appreciative so that way we could just better prepare for these events uh, but yeah it just feels like it's rapid like one after another so if they could just slow down with it um, you know I think that would be probably the best bet at least in my opinion and now before moving forward um, I did actually start using my DSLR camera so I use my DSLR camera for like many of my reviews, I also use it for uh, my live streams as well, but I've been using my built-in uh, webcam for my computer, and it really just hasn't been doing the, the job I really needed to do, so I decided to bust out the DSLR, and hey, it looks a lot better in my opinion, and things a little bit more crisp, uh, the lighting is a little bit better since I can actually edit the uh, the settings here, and I really can't do it on the, uh, the built-in uh, webcam, so... I, I I'm making small little uh, you know improvements on the on this uh, channel when it comes to these type of videos. So the next thing I'm really going to try and focus on is how to do the screen recording a lot better because right now I can't record the audio built into the um, the actual device. I can only do it through the microphone I'm using right here. So it really sucks. Uh, if you have any recommendations as, as to what software I can be using, uh, definitely let me know in the comment section below. So of course we're going to take a look at the banner and there's two new mobile suits. We have the Death Scythe and we do have the Shenlong. Now a uh, lot of clarification here. So Shenlong is just a name. Um, sh the mobile suit itself can go by Shenlong, Nataku. Um, I think it also goes by Ultron. Uh, but I do think Ultron is kind of more tethered to the TV version uh, as well as the OVA. But um, it definitely has a lot of different names. But for the most part we call it Shenlong. So we'll take a look at the head. Stat-wise, this thing is looking like it's going to be primarily built around defense. Um, shot attack is okay for the most part for a head unit, uh, but obviously this is going to have Vulcans, and yeah, it does it does what you ex imagine it to. So I'm not looking at this as like something that's revolutionary. Uh, but I will be taking a look at the word tag. So high mobility and four forest. Um, so I'm going to take back what I said about uh, the the word tags for terrain being trash. Because you can choose the terrain that you want to battle in in arenas. So you can definitely use that to your advantage. Uh, if you really want the 3% in all parameters, definitely go ahead and use that. And you're just going to have to refresh if you don't see your uh, the, the proper terrain uh, whenever you're doing your arenas. Do I recommend that? No. Because you don't want to be an all... I, I personally believe being an all-rounder is not as beneficial as being something that specialized in one particular area. So if you want to specialize in defense, then get word tags is going to increase your defenses. Uh, but if you want to be like, you know, an attacker, then you're going to have to use word tags that increase your attack. But for the four forests and just all the other um, type of terrain, I don't know, increasing your parameters by 3% all across the board doesn't sound as good as increasing my uh, shot attack or maybe even my melee attack by 10%. And now with the body unit, once again, we're definitely focusing a lot on the defenses, but it just seems like these stats are significantly lower than what I've seen with many other mobile suits. I, it could be just me, like obviously the defenses are pretty good, but um, I don't know, just the armor looks a lot lower than what I've seen with most uh, MSs. But you are going to have machine cannon, so I don't ever remember the Death Scythe doing anything with his chest via, you know, Vulcans or machine cannon or anything like that. Uh, but this one is a physical shot. It's an A piercing, which is really good. So it can immediately do it. it has 11 magazine, uh, 11 magazine rounds. So fire the machine gun cannon uh, or machine cannon in your chest at foe straight ahead. You can move freely while shooting. So it's good, but obviously there's a lot of there's a lot better uh, chest parts out there with either better attributes or sorry better traits or better EX skills. So this as an EX skill. It's okay for the fact that it has eight on piercing, but I do think you can find something way better than that. Now we're looking at the arms. So once again, we're we're definitely prioritizing defenses on this mobile suit. Uh, the melee attack is abysmal. It's horrible. That is horrible, horrible melee attack. And you would think that a mobile suit that really doesn't have too many uh, like long range attacks 
I really don't want to count the Vulcans because that's not really for doing massive damage. That's for like distraction. Um, that's for like knocking rockets out of the sky or missiles out of the sky. It's or or if you're close range, you want to like you know try and get the enemy away from you really fast. You use the Vulcans. Otherwise, this mobile suit is a melee oriented mobile suit. So why do we have such low melee attack? They really speci like, like they're really focusing a lot more on defenses with this thing and. I don't really like that. I don't think that that's what this mobile suit is. Um, parts traits with the axe category, which will be the uh, the beam scythe. Um, axe category equip mid shot attack raised twenty percent. I don't get that. I just that that's this is a good parts trait on a mobile suit that is um, how can I say it? That is primarily shot attack. So I would use these arms on something that does emphasize, you know, shot attack. But with this mo with this as a full death scythe, I think it's horrible. I, I mean, you're gonna throw a weapon, you're gonna throw a long distance weapon on it, and it's gonna do good. But that's I don't know. In my mind, that's not what death scythe is. Now we're looking at the legs. So once again, a lot of uh, emphasis on the defenses with axe category equip, ex skill cooldown reduce 20%. That, my boys, that is a great trait. Great. Um, I would have to check and see all the different axes that are in the game right now, but that is super good. And the thing is, like, remember when I said about, you know, shot attack being uh, kind of like more oriented with this mobile suit? Imagine these legs on, let's say, because uh, obviously you're going to have an axe, and I think most axes in the game aren't really that good. So having, let's say, just a, you, you get the death scythe, um, that you get the scythe, you get the beam scythe. Equip that to something like the new Gundam. Throw it on the new Gundam. Equip these legs on the new Gundam. Bam! Now you're gonna have a reduced uh, cooldown on. Let's say you have the Gundam's um, beam beam uh, beam rifle. Now you're gonna have a 20% cooldown on your final shot or last shooting. I, I'm sorry. I know I'm messing up a lot of these things. Uh, I've definitely been a late night and all day. But yeah, so put the axe with. Um, with the legs and throw a uh, beam rifle the Gundam's four-star beam rifle with last shooting on here I mean that's a 20% uh, cooldown reduction on that EX skill that is amazing and this goes for any of them but I'm just kind of like emphasizing you know one in particular so that is like super damn good or um, I'm trying to think of something else that could maybe like a shield there's a couple of shields that have long cooldowns uh, like the harmonica from the X Divider, really, really long cooldown, so that would drastically reduce it. And next we have is going to be the backpack. So, you know, like I'm, I'm going to keep saying it, this is definitely emphasizing defenses, which isn't a bad thing. I'm not saying that the Death Scythe having some some really great defenses is a bad thing. It's not. It's just very, to me, uncharacteristic. Uh, I think Duo Maxwell was always more of like an in fighter. Um, I would have to rewatch the series, even though I'm never going to rewatch the series. I think that series is not good. It has great mobile suit designs. It has great. It has great lead characters. I love Duo. I love um, Troa. I do love uh, Wu Fei. Don't really like Hero. I think Hero is pretty bland. Um, but I. I just, I don't know, I can't match these stats up to how I, I remember this mobile suit in action. Now looking at the Hyper Jammer, this is going to be an Awakening ability. So what that means is, you can't combine this with another Awakening such as Trans Am or Hyper Mode from like the Rose Gundam. Uh, this is going to be its own individual, individual thing. So let's say you do have Trans Am active and you go ahead and activate this right after, you're going to cancel out that Trans Am and then all the, all the perks and everything from the Trans Am, that's going to go away and now you're going to have the Hyper Jammer. But this is actually really good. So activate powerful Radio Wave Jammer to hide your position. Raise your shot attack by 19%. That's really fucking good. Uh, and you're going to become harder to target. So it's going to be like the Blitz. Uh, how, you know, he has the little colloid uh, effect. It's going to be that, but it's also going to mix in with uh, extra shot attack. That's pretty goddamn good. Uh, cooldown is going to be uh, 12 seconds in the beginning. And then cooldown is going to be uh, 60 seconds after. With an effect time of 51 seconds. So really, that's, that's awesome. So you're going to bust out the uh, effect time. Like, well, let's say you max it out for one. But you do, uh, you do the effect 12 seconds in, and then you only have a 9 second difference of when you can activate it again. So that's a very low cooldown time frame, but hopefully you're going to end your match before this effect goes away. At least that's my thinking. Um, but yeah, I think the backpack is actually really good when it comes to uh, shooter mobile suits. And here we have the Bean Scythe. So a lot of people is comparing uh, the code of... P, 
code pi, phi? I think it's called code phi. Uh, definitely correct me in the comments section below. They were comparing this weapon to that weapon. Like, oh, the code phi weapon is immensely better, blah, blah, blah. It's only better in one area, and that's the attack. But we've already deduced that this mobile suit is not a melee attack oriented mobile suit. So when you're comparing it, you're really comparing apples and oranges because every single one of the other stats is going to be better than that code, you know, phi, code, yeah, you know, phi, code phi, um, beam scythe. So I'm definitely, I'm, I'm nipping in the butt right now. I didn't say anything on social media, but you know, going forward, y'all need to understand that these two weapons have different roles at like completely. The defense is significantly better on this uh, weapon than what it is on that one. So yes, if you want to be a close range melee oriented um, attacker, definitely go with the the, uh, the code. I'm just calling it the, the custom G self. Um, use the custom G self's weapon, definitely. But if you want something that is going to have a lot more defenses and keep you a little more balanced, use this one. But let's take a look at the X skill. Category B melee, piercing A, power D. Cool down, 21 seconds, and then the first time is gonna be three seconds uses. So immediately you're busting this out whenever you hit the uh, the arenas. Brutally swipe at nearby foes with your beam scythe. Lower the hit enemies gunpla beam resistance by 39%. Um, that's pretty good. I would say you're really doing this for the debuff. You're not doing this for the damage. Because as we take a look at the melee attack, the melee attack is horrendous for a melee weapon of four stars. So, yeah, you're not doing this to, to win the match in one, you know, fatal flow. Uh, you're doing this just to reduce that, you know, once again, beam resistance by 39%. So that way you can use a beam rifle or any kind of beam uh, weapon and you can do massive damage to that mobile suit. So I could see this pairing up really well with something like the new Gundam and then using the uh, Gundam's... Um, you know beam rifle so that way you can get a last shooting in or just use it as a normal beam rifle But even that beam rifle it has very low shot attack in comparison to something like the new Gundam or the Dynamis uh, long rifle So you got to kind of choose what you want to do But I would say definitely go with the Gundam's uh, EX skill because it's just going to do a lot more damage uh, And it's going to have that cooldown if you use the death size legs as well. So um, Overall oh, we have one more item left so here's the shield. Uh, really, really good defenses on that shield. I absolutely love those defenses. And this is going to have an EX skill as well. Uh, the word tag is going to be a little bit different as well. We got high mobility, uh, shot defenses, beam resistance by 5%. Once again, defense oriented. Four base. So it's another, you're getting a different terrain. So you got forest and you're going to have base. I don't know. I wish they would have replaced it with something else like ace unit or, um, I don't know, something that definitely would have benefited you in some other way uh, or um, mid-range or something you know get more emphasis on the shot attack if that's what you want but uh, maybe if you had uh, a word tag that kind of increased um, shot attack that might be a little bit OP but hey who am I now we have the EX skill buster shield so it's a beam melee piercing a power D cool down 21 seconds first time three seconds fire your shield towards the enemy so this is really good it's basically like the Aegis um, so if you really do want to use this weapon uh, I think I think the EX skill is okay if you're missing a third slot, but if you have all three of your slots filled with something that's really good, I probably wouldn't bother with this to be honest. So before moving on to Shenlong, um, what do I have to say about Death Scythe? I think a lot of parts are extremely, extremely good, but I think it's not good for Death Scythe. I think you're going to have to really do a lot of customization to your mobile suit with certain parts from the Death Scythe. So what I would say, I think the Beam Scythe is really good. Uh, I, I just, I think, I, I would say the EX skill is, is okay, but I just, I love the uh, the stats on it, to be honest, in, in terms of it being a beam, uh, like a beam weapon. Um, now you're also gonna have the legs. I think the legs are fantastic. I think the backpack is pretty damn good. Um, the body, no, the, the head and the body are the worst parts about the mobile suit. The arms, mm, uh, the arms are okay, but I would definitely say if you're gonna pull on, on if you're gonna pull on this banner for Death Scythe, your go-to is primarily is going to be the legs and the backpack, and then maybe go for the Beam Scythe uh, because I think that's still a fairly good weapon depending on what you're you know trying to use. Now moving on to Shenlong. So with Shenlong, uh, we're definitely having some really good armor. Uh, shot attack is, is 
pretty decent. Now we're going to have an EX skill. Once again, it's going to be the head mounted uh, Vulcans, which not really too into. Now, one of the things I'm really excited about is the word tag. So it has close combat, uh, which raises armor 5% and melee attack 5% while active. Really, really good. I absolutely love close combat because, hey, this is definitely going to be a melee oriented suit. So now we finally got to get some really good word tags for this thing. Now, one more thing I wanted to touch on. This is a Technique mobile suit, and it is a 4-star. I believe the only other 4-star Technique we have is Gundam, uh, the RX-78-2. So, this is something you're probably going to want to get because having a really powerful uh, speed, uh, power, and Technique is really going to benefit, uh, benefit you whenever the 3v3 arenas come around because you're going to want at least one, mo one mobile suit that can really just tackle a, you know one of the other mobile suits in the arenas. Uh, it's not a necessity in my opinion, but I do think that under certain circumstances, having a very high power technique mobile suit is going to benefit you. Now for the stats, the armor is really damn good. Um, melee attack and shot attack is pretty much what you would see on body, like pretty pretty low. Parts traits, with technique attributes, strong melee power boosted 30%. Um, I still, like right now, strong melee is really good in PvE. Uh, I, I mean, pretty much all the entire game is PvE, but uh, for arenas, right now, you're not trying to do basic melee attacks. Uh, what I've deduced is that it, it's based on your overall, like, like your overkill damage. So doing basic attacking is just not going to do it. You're not going to uh, accumulate a higher uh, assess, like assessment points. You're going to have to do an EX skill that's going to have high uh, power and high, probably high piercing to be honest. Uh, so this is an okay trait when it comes to just doing the story mode or even events. And now looking on the arms, oh, I'm super excited. Like, I. I love every version of Shenlong, Ultron, Nataku. I love all of them. Uh, I especially love Ultron TV version. I love Ultron Custom from the OVA. Don't really care about the EW as much. Like, I do like it, um, but I, I love the original Shenlong way more than that one. But the TV version, Ultron, that is my... That is Bay. That is, that is my absolute favorite unit. So, it's kind of unfortunate that uh, I, I'm not getting that right now. But I do love the regular Shenlong, and it's really because of the Dragon Fang. Uh, I absolutely love that that weapon. Ever since I was a little kid, I had the uh, the old high grade, and I I just abused it. I I played with that toy all day, every single day until it just it gave up, it, it broke. Um, but yeah, let's take a look at the stats. The stats all around aren't really horrible per se, but that melee attack is just not doing it for me. This is a this is a default four star, my lads. That melee attack should at least be in, in the 2000s. Uh, being a low 1000 stat is just horrible. Uh, but let's take a look at the, at the Dragon Fang. Okay, so category physical shot. It's a shot attack, which is unique. You would think it would be an actual melee attack. So you got piercing D, power B, not really too good. Uh, I, would, I, I would expect it to be at least um, A minus. So cooldown 30 seconds, first time 8 seconds. Eh. So strike with extended arm, then unleash a burst of flame, lower hit enemies gun plus shot defense by 24%. And that's actually not too bad. Oops. And next we're going to have the Shenlong Gundam's legs. So they're okay. The defense is pretty much almost mirrored to uh, the Death Scythes, but yeah. Now the trait is with technique attribute, 20% chance to not recoil. Um, recoiling, I mean... You, you, you save time if you don't recoil, um, so you know, you're not kind of like waiting in between the the attacks or the shots and, you know, moving forward with your next attack. But I, I, I just don't think recoil matters that much when it comes to like the uh, the arenas. And we'll look at the backpack. Obviously, there's really not going to be too much emphasis on this. Now, you are going to have a buff, which is really good. So, cooldown 7 seconds, 33, effect time is uh, 51. So, this is the funny thing. The effect time is 51 seconds, right? Cooldown is only 33. In essence, or in theory, you're always going to have this buff constantly throughout the entire match. There is no, there's no in-between wait time. You do it the first seven seconds. It has 51 seconds. It's going to be active well past the time that it's going to be reactivated. So that's really good. But your squad uh, resists flinching for a set period of time. There's a lot. There's a lot better backpacks out there. I think. Avoiding flinching is just not a necessity at this time. If we ever come across a, a part that has like, you know, a very much higher accuracy on flinching your opponent, um, maybe. 
But as of right now, I'm not I'm not worried about my opponent flinching me because I'm kind of cheating the system by just like you know floating around the arena until all my EX skills are uh, finished on their cooldown. So to me, this is not really that good. And next you're gonna have is going to be your Bean Glaive. So the uh, the stats is once again just not good, man. I'm I'm gonna be frank. This seems like almost like a two star. Like a lot of these weapons appear to be like two star or maybe like low tier three stars. Um, let's I mean let's take a look at the ex skill. So hell jumper. As far as they include the word hell, to be honest. Well, you got death scythe hell, um, but you got category B melee, piercing A minus, power D, cooldown thirty seconds, first time three seconds. Jump high to deal powerful blow with your lance from the air. Lower hit enemies gun plus beam resistance by 39%. So this is pretty much like the Death Scythe Hells weapon. So I can give a little bit of leeway to the Death Scythe Hells uh, Scythe. Well, de I'm sorry, the Death Scythe uh, Scythe, not the Death Scythe Hell. Um, but this weapon in particular should have had a massive melee attack because look at your word tags. You're putting a lot of emphasis on melee attack, but yet you have abysmal melee attack on this weapon. I, I don't get that. I, I, I'm just going to use the mace. I'm going to use the Barbados mace. Right now, the Barbados mace is the this, this single best uh, melee weapon in the game. And you know what? I'm not going to complain too much. I, I actually, I've already have complained. Uh, but I'm not going to complain too much for the fact that at least there's not a power creep in the game. So what I mean by that, power creep is something that you usually invest into like one set of something. I'll take Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links for example. You invest in a in a pack with a lot of good uh, archetypes. But then your next pack, it's just better cards anyways. So then you're kind of like, well, why did I even get the, the last pack when I could have just waited and got this pack? But even then, you're going to get power crap by the next pack anyways. So this game isn't doing that. I, and I kind of do appreciate that. They're going to give you something that you're like, you know what? I can skip this banner. You know what? I can skip this event minus the uh, the Awakening. So you know what? I, I'm i actually happy about that. So I'm upset that my boy Shenlong got nerfed. But you know what? It's it's okay that a power creep is not existing right now at least. And we're taking a look at the shield. So yeah, I mean the stats are okay for a shield. Um, now you're going to have the shield throw, basically doing a Captain America throw. Physical melee, piercing is going to be A, power is going to be D, first time 3 seconds. Throw your shield to attack. This thing is basically a mirror of Death Scythe, but it actually has some better um, like stats in certain areas. Uh, namely the uh, the physical attack, so that was actually pretty, pretty impressive, but the Death Scythe just kind of is better overall. Even though it primarily focuses on defense, it has those legs, which is going to reduce cooldowns. So... Yeah, I can't believe they busted up my boy Shenlong like that. That kind of kind of upsets me, but hey, it is what it is. Now this, my boys, this is what I care about. I care about the AI banner, and I'm going to look at my boy over here first. So we have Flit Asano. This, I, I love this character. Um, I, he, a lot of people shit on Gundam Age so much, and I, I've, I've heard y'all in the comment section below before, um, and a lot of y'all do appreciate Gundam Age, which makes me appreciate y'all way more. Um, <clears throat> but my boy Flit, he's been through some shit, you know, he's seen a lot of things. You can't blame him for how he grew up and like what he has became whenever he became a, uh, you know, an old man at the end of the season three, or I guess at the end of the last, you know, arc. Uh, but Flit, he's just to me a cool character. I really like him. I, I, he was very smart. He's basically like Amuro Ray, but I think he was a little bit more like outgoing, than Amuro. Am Amuro is kind of like conservative and kind of whined a little bit, but Flit, I don't remember him ever whining in this in the show, so I uh, really do like him. But let's take a look at his, at his uh, attribute. So he's going to be a power mobile suit. Obviously, that's going to be in line with uh, the Titus. The Titus is a default three star, and uh, Flit is going to be a default three star, so you just know this is going to be more keen to the Titus mobile suit. Now, his license is going to be in fighter. That's pretty interesting. I was really thinking he was going to be a balanced um, fighter. But being an end fighter, hey, that's actually really good. Um, but look at these stats. Super balanced. I don't really like that. Um, I'm not a, a big fan of like jack of all trades, unless you are having a balanced mobile suit, which is okay, or defense, I, t uh, I, I should say. But this, I don't think is great, because I would prefer, if, if this is honestly for the Titus, which it, it really does seem like it is, um, then why is there any shot attack whatsoever? Uh, I can understand the uh, like I can understand some of the resistances, 
but beam, I mean, uh, melee attack is what I should be focused on. So it kind of sucks that you're not getting that. Now for the trade with power attribute, which you will be, buff EX skill time up 15%. So the buff, let's see, buff EX skill time is like, um, how can I say? So like the sumo's head, that is a buff, you know, increases, uh, or the Talgis 2, uh, the head of him, that's a buff. So that's what this is focusing on, buff the time up by 15%. I don't think that's great, to be honest. I want something that's going to increase damage output or is going to like give me uh, reduced cooldowns on my EX skills. Having uh, an increase on my buff times, I'm not really focused on that because I'm trying to win before the buff even you know goes away. So, eh, pretty bad trait, to be honest. Now, his word tags is going to be mid-range and it's going to be close combat, so... It's okay. Um, there's obviously a lot better in terms of roles that you can have for something like the Titus or something like the Barbatos or uh, the Red Frame Astray. Uh, things that you would actually use an in Fighter 4. So Flit is not probably not going to be my go-to, but I still want to pick up a Flit anyways because I do like him as a character. Now here you have is Kira Jesus Yamato. <sighs> I don't like this character. I don't like him at all, but you know, let's take a look at his stats. His shot attack's really good. Melee defense, really good. So this is a speed attribute, and he's going to be a, uh, a mid fighter or a mid shooter. Um, you know, he's really good. I don't really know off the top of my head what he's going to be good for. I think he's good for the ale strike. I think that's what this um, this actual particular um, pilot is going to be used for. But I can see him being used for something like the new Gundam, uh, because obviously with that emphasis on shot attack, I'll, although you want to just keep your armor array if you have armor array. Now, parts traits with speed attribute, EX skill recovery boosted by 140. That's really damn good. Um, so if you have like the, uh, how can I say, the archer's head, if you have the blitz head that actually does uh, recovery on, of armor, this is going to increase you by an extra 140 armor. So this is a mobile, like this character right here, I would probably, I might throw him on the uh, the Blitz. That's pretty, because the Blitz is my go-to, uh, my cleric for my team. So this is actually going to be a really good character for my Blitz. And the Blitz is already pretty emphasized on shot attack. So I think that's actually pretty good. Now the question you're asking is, should I summon on this banner? <sighs> I would say probably not really. <laughs> I would honestly recommend you to save your Haro chips for the next event. Um, I will say if you want to try to go for any parts, the parts you're going to want to go for go for is going to be the Death Scythe Legs, the Backpack, the Beam Scythe. Uh, I would honestly say the Shenlong Arms don't seem like a bad gig, so maybe even try and pull for those. But I wouldn't break the bank just to get this if you are a whale. If you're not, if you're just like a free-to-play player, don't. Like, use your two times multiplier. You know, you can still get the Hyakushiki. Maybe not, you're not going to max out all the parts. Uh, but I do think that with a two times multiplier, and if you play smart, you can actually still get the two Awakenings, and you can get one of each of the Hyakushiki. I've done it, so it's not really uh, out of reach. So, I, and I'm doing it right now again with a two times multiplier on my alt account. So I will be getting the Awakenings and just getting probably one of each of the Hyakushiki. Um, otherwise, I don't think this banner is really worth it. Now, when it comes to the AI pilots, I think I think um, Kira is actually a really go, uh, good to go to uh, pilot to try and you know aim for. So maybe go and try and get your AI pilot first, and afterwards maybe just save up your hard chips for the next event. Uh, you never know what the next one's going to be. But yeah, that's pretty much it when it comes to this banner. That's all I really have on it. So what are your thoughts on the banner? Do you think any mobile suit is really good? Do you think any parts uh, in particular are really good? Let me know in the comment section below. So that's it for me, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll be seeing y'all later. Bye-bye.